Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my painting videos. Today I'll be painting some plants. So we'll be doing a lot of leaves today. So we'll be using a lot of green color and of course yellow and some highlight colors. So the colors that I'll be mentioning will be listed in the description box below as well. So here are the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial. So we have primary blue, lemon yellow, black, titanium white, red, and burnt sienna. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So let's begin now. I'm going to sketch first the subject. Just for you to be able to see the sketch clearly, I'll be using my black pen so that you can see the lines because we'll be doing a lot of leaves today and a lot of them will be side by side or on top of an, on top of uh, another leaf. So I'll be using a pen just for purposes of visibility. All right, so I'm going to get my pen now and start sketching it. I normally use my paintbrush in sketching, but for this purpose, I'm just going to use my pen. Anyway, we're just uh, we will be painting over the sketch lines so the pens or the pen lines will not be seen uh, in the final product, right? So let me start now. So just a little tiny leaf right here. Okay, and the stem. It's more of a minimalist style. So um, we will not be using... Uh, over the top um, image, okay? Very minimal. Okay, like that. All right, just like that. This is like your kindergarten uh, drawings. Okay, draw some leaves. The difference is that when we do the painting, we will make it more realistic. Okay, some leaf going on right here and down here. Okay. All right, just like that. Okay. All right. I love doing minimalist designs. I love painting subjects that are more of a minimalist type. Again, even though I'm sketching it this way, uh, definitely I will make adjustments as I go, like this one. Because um, it's just a sketch. This is just to identify where things are going to go. There's nothing final here. You can always change your painting at any stage because acrylic is very... Uh, user friendly. We'll be doing some uh, folds like this. We'll be doing a bigger leaf. All right, just like that. And a little tiny leaf here. Okay. And as I told you, we'll be doing some overlapping leaves. So just overlap, just like that. Okay, like that. Another step. I know that it looks a little weird at the moment, but trust me, we're gonna do our best to make sense out of this, um, to make sense out of this sketch. Like that. There's a tiny leaf going on here. Okay, like that. Okay. 
Okay. And there's a tiny leaf there. Okay. It's actually almost five o'clock here in Taipei. I just um slept for a few hours after class and I woke up and I just decided to do a painting tutorial. I was planning to do this sometime um I mean sometime this weekend, maybe Saturday or Sunday, but I just I decided to just do it today because I don't wanna lose the momentum. Okay, so this will be the continuation of this leaf. And I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. So I know that this looks like a a pattern, but uh, trust me, it will make sense. I suggest that you watch the whole video before you try to paint along with me because uh, you watch it first in the full length because we want to make sense out of this sketch because you will not probably some of you will not make sense out of this by just looking at it because it's not it's all lines so if you watch the whole video first then you will understand why are we doing this so using my small brush i'm just gonna get my black okay black i'm gonna get my yellow mix it with the black and this will be the underpainting for everything okay so I'm just going to color. I think this is very easy, right? So as I told you during the intro of this video, the sketch lines that we use the ball pen, the ball pen for will be um, deleted. We will not be, they will not be visible anymore. So again, just use black. Okay, if you hear that sound, that's the sound of the road. I always hear that from here. Okay, like this. All right, like that. So just continue doing this. It's very therapeutic, I guess. Okay, I can hear that sound again. Yeah, if you listen closely, if you listen very well, you can hear that song. I mean, you can hear that tune in the background. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to my existing yellow and green mixture. Again, this will still serve as the underpainting. Just continue doing this. Fill in all the spaces that you see. These are leaf patterns, so just fill in all those spaces that you see. Try to paint over the sketch line so that we don't see the sketch lines in the final product of this painting process. Okay. You can start anywhere. You can continue anywhere. I'm just going to uh, randomly select the spaces that I want to immediately fill in.
can just continue Right. This is actually satisfying to do. Okay. I'm going to make this leaf quite dark. Also here remember that we're still under painting so everything should be dark okay we don't want to highlight at this stage because we will be overwhelmed with so many highlights if we don't do the underpainting first you know by underpainting your painting um, you get the bulk of the work done first Okay, just a few more. You know, I keep going from, I keep jumping from one leaf to another. I don't follow a pattern. I just do what I want. Okay, remember that we'll be doing some overlapping leaves. So just paint or fill in the spaces first before thinking about doing the leaf. Think of this as shapes and lines. Don't think of it as plants just yet or leaves just yet. Okay, I'm trying to correct the shape. All right, okay, this is well. So I'm mixing some black, yellow, and blue. Okay, like that. And down here. Okay, I'm gonna add one more leaf here. All right, we're almost done. I'm just gonna correct this. It's quite weird. So as you can see here, by underpainting the painting, you get the bulk of the work done already. Now all you have to worry about, if you need to, is the detailing. I, I'm really, I'm always looking forward to detailing my paintings because uh, it's the fun part, you know? Uh, I think drawing is the most stressful part. So now using the same color, I'm just going to go and re-identify uh, where the stems are going to go. I'm going to thicken the stems part. 
because the stems can just be lines just like what we did during the sketching right so I'm just gonna re-identify where the stem is gonna go by um, doing or by painting over the sketch lines of the of the stems more leaves here right like that it's like just getting everything covered with the dark colors okay like that okay just a little more Some colors will change because of highlighting, definitely. I'm gonna... Okay, like that. I just um, made some adjustments right here. So the overlapping leaf will be right here. Anyway, you'll see those things that I'm saying, say, like overlapping leaves and highlights later. And that will be uh, now because we're done underpainting it. As you can see here, it's already making sense, right? Like this are, or this is a silhouette of some leaves. So I'm going to wash my brush out. You don't have to wash it uh, very well or very neatly because the colors are the same. We'll be using the same colors, only that... We're highlighting now, so everything will be a little brighter or lighter than usual. I'm going to get my yellow. Okay, as you can see, we'll be highlighting. I'm going to get my blue, like so, and black as well. Okay, blue, maybe burnt sienna, just to tone that green and yellow down. Okay, this color, okay, more burnt sienna and yellow. You can even add red if you want, just to tone the color. So it's like this color and yellow, like this, okay? It's like brown yellowy color. I'm gonna use this to highlight some leaves. Mm -hmm. It's a very subtle highlight. I'm gonna add a little bit of white because it's not, okay, maybe this color. All right, like that, also here. So remember that even if we're painting or we under we just underpainted it dark, a lot of the underpainting will be painted over. That's the whole point of underpainting. Okay, I'm gonna add, gonna add a little bit of yellowy color. So we will not be washing our brush anymore. We're just going to allow the colors to be there. Varying in amounts of colors that we use. All right, like that. Okay. I'll be using a little bit of that color on this leaf. All right, like that. Some of the colors or some of the leaves will not be highlighted because they're too dark. Okay because of the absence of light, not because they are dark. Okay. So, right. 
close to here. Okay, I'm gonna get my white without washing my brush. I'm just okay, that's I think that's too brown. Okay, maybe this color. I'm gonna highlight the right side or the left side of this big um, leaf like so okay like that okay just highlight the left part okay and using the same color I'm going to highlight a little bit of this area, just a little bit. Okay, like so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to highlight this leaf. Again, I jump from one leaf to another, depending on what I like. Okay, I don't follow any particular pattern in doing my paintings. A little bit of white. Right. And this leaf is receiving a lot of light. Okay. Alright, just allow it like that for now. Okay, the same color over here. Highlight the edges or the edge of this leaf. Okay, the same color right here. So everything is just dark and light in order to create that dimensional look. Alright, I'm gonna get a light or white color. All right, like that. Okay, more white right here. Okay, and also right here. I'm going to divide this leaf into two. And highlight the midsection. And here I'm going to highlight the edge. Right like that. I'm going to highlight a little bit of this section. Okay, like that. Okay, and I'm going to use the same color over here. Okay. I'm going to highlight the edge or near the edge of the leaf. Alright, just like so. Oh my gosh. So it's definitely making sense now. I'm gonna get my brownie yellowy color that we have here. I'm gonna add a little more yellow and brown. Okay, so it's like this color. We're gonna use this color to go back to certain areas. Just highlight the leaf. All 
right. Okay. Also here. I told you guys that not all the leaves will be highlighted because of the absence of light. Okay. If we're going to highlight everything, it will not look as dimensional as we want it to be. Okay. I'm just going to highlight the bottom portion. And don't worry if some of the paints um, go outside the sketch lines. We will definitely fix that later. You know me. Every time I do a painting, I clean the edges, or if you're new to my channel, well, I clean the edges, you know, before I end the, the video. Because it's quite unavoidable um, to go outside uh, the sketch lines because we're using a paintbrush. I'm going to highlight a little bit of this leaf right here. in here this tiny tiny leaf Okay, and this tiny leaf here. And let's go back to this area. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm just gonna make the stem more visible. So it's like I'm just um, fixing the shape of the leaf. Okay. I'm going to darken on this. The right side of this big leaf. Just darken it. Okay, all right, also here, just darken it. We're not really darkening it, we're just trying to apply some dark colors. We're not trying to uh, paint over the lights or the highlights. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of dimension. Okay, like so, like that. Okay, this is definitely making sense now. We're, we're about 30 minutes in, and I'm going to wash my brush out. I want to uh, wait for the paint to dry, and I'm going to get my uh, brush. I'm going to get a new brush, or maybe just clean your brush very well. I'm going to dab onto my white and try to clean the edges like here <laughs> I have so many um okay paint is not I'm just going to clean the edges okay I'm trying to maximize the time since I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I might as well clean the edges. Okay. 
oops I need to get pure white and maybe a new brush Try to clean the edges. just like so okay of course you can do this um, last but I want to do it now okay just like so Oh no. All right, now let's go back to the leaves because we want to highlight highlight them even more. I'm going to use the remaining white just to highlight this leaf, okay? We're trying to do a lot of light painting, so we will definitely use our white a lot. Okay, I'm dry brushing. like that and again right here and also here along the midline And along the edges okay like, like that and again, let's go back to this leaf. Just gonna highlight even more. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow this time. Okay. And the midsection for this. Okay, like that. And the midsection for this as well. Okay, and now using yellow, I'm gonna highlight the edge of the leaf. Okay, like that. And the midsection for this leaf like that also here I think this is a very therapeutic painting okay all right like that
right. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. This this looks good already, and we're just we're not even an hour in. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of black because I forgot to draw the mid section. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna mix yellow and white just to highlight the edges of some leaves. Okay, I'm gonna make more green color. I'm gonna make some overlapping leaf here, like so. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. Okay, like that. Just highlight the edges of the leaves. It's actually really good. Okay. Okay, more highlights. like that Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out and I'm gonna create some brownie color on the stems. So using brown, burnt sienna, I am mean, sorry, burnt sienna and lemon yellow, I'm gonna create this brownie color. I'm just gonna um, make the branches or the stems a little more brown. Okay, a little bit of brownie colors here and there. Just making this look more natural. Also here, 
some brownie color. Okay, like that. Let me check. Mm -hmm. This looks nice, but I still have to do a lot of highlighting. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm gonna add a little bud, a little bud, like a budding leaf. Okay, I'm gonna pin that highlight part. We don't want a super thick highlight. Highlights should be a little subtle, okay? Right, like that. Okay, like so. Oh, this looks nice, but I think I need more highlight highlights here. So I'm going to get my greeny color and I'm just going to apply a little bit of green. We don't want it to be just white. So using some watered down green, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that color over this leaf. And also over those highlighted leaves we don't want it to be white leaf right or white leaves we just want it to be highlighted leaves meaning the green color is still there but it's highlighted okay so we still want the greeny color to show Okay, I'm just gonna emphasize this overlapping leaf. Let me check. Okay, this looks nice. But I'm just gonna fix this leaf. It looks a little weird at the moment. So I'm gonna get my white, but we're gonna dry brush. So remove the excess um, paint. Or excess water, I mean. And let's dry brush.
Okay, some highlights. Okay, like that. Okay, like so. Everything is fun in games here, right? Everything is just fun in games. We don't we didn't stress so much about anything here. Okay, this is very easy. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush very well. I'm just gonna cover some areas that I don't like. Especially those paints that went outside the sketch lines. You can also use this time to thin out those um, stems if you want to thin them down. Some of my stems are too thick. Okay, like that. Okay, oh, this looks good. Okay. But of course, I'm just gonna make some repairs. Okay, like that. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow brownie color. Okay, as you can see here, or as you uh, probably have observed, I'm obsessing already. Okay. Using <clears throat> using black, I'm just gonna re-outline the leaves, okay? 
looking just like that. Okay, and using white. I'm doing a lot of highlights. Okay, I think this is good. I think we're done, guys. This is a very simple... Um, leaf painting Okay, everything that I'm doing here is just detailing, trying to fix the shape and all that. You can do that as well. Here's some yellow. Okay, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now because we're done. So I'm gonna sign this. I'm gonna use my black. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably black or blue. I'm gonna sign right here. Okay, it's a very weird signature. But yes, we're done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you like this one, let me know in the comment section below. By the way, before I go, I'm just going to clean this. Look at that. It's super dirty right here. Okay. All right, just like that. So I just covered that stain. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you do this one as well. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. And see you in my next video. Mm. Mm.